This is a small example of how unified communications can be used by Alicia, the purchasing agent, to actually communicate an order to a supplier. So I've just uh, logged on as Alicia, and this is Alicia's role center, and I can see, for example, the uh, purchase orders not sent. So essentially, purchase orders not sent are, uh, are orders just entered in the system. And I can see I have one here from um, Opal. So I can use the list page to actually find and filter on these orders. And um, of course, I can use the action pane to actually perform an action on it. So I'm going to use the purchase sort of um, action here. Now I'm not going to post it, um, but I'm actually going to print it. Now what this is going to do is pick up the print management settings that are set up on this vendor. And in this particular case, I've just sent it um, as a PDF document to my desktop. So if I just minimize this, you'll see the PDF document on my desktop here. Now if I go back to the order, um, I can drill into the order to look at the details on it. And you can see that I have a contact associated with that order, which is Jeff. So Jeff is essentially the key contact from Opal Electronics, the supplier. Now I can see that presence information, which means that Jeff is online. So I can drill into that and I can see that this um, information, for example, coming to me from Office Communicator. For example, I can add uh, Jeff as a contact in my own uh, Office Communicator contacts. So if I add that and I go to my communicator, I can see Jeff um, added here, for example. Now, with this, I can also um, send uh, Jeff an instant message, or I can email him, or I can call him. Now, in this particular case, I want to use some of the capabilities of Office Communicator. For example, um, I can send him a message of course, I can send him other information. For example, I can attach a file. So with this, I can take the purchase order document that I've sent out to my desktop, which is the printed purchase order, and attach it to my instant message. Now, if we log across to Jeff's um, desktop, you'll see I have Communicator up here running, and this is the conversation coming from Alicia here. Now, you'll see that I have the ability to receive this order. So if I accept it, I'll get, of course, the warning message about receiving files, and you'll see that this will go into Jeff's uh, document. So if I click onto that, I can open this up, and this is the purchase order re received by uh, Jeff. Now, this is just a small example of how you could use a Unified Communicator to uh, speed up the delivery of documents through the supply chain. And in this particular case, the customer being Alicia and the supplier being Jeff have a good relationship and they can communicate through Office Communicator, for example.